Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have my long-awaited skincare routine video. Um, you guys have been asking me for a while now, which is awesome. I'm so glad that you guys want to know what I have been using and I wanted to take my time on this only because I think skincare is super super important. I feel skincare and makeup go hand in hand so if your skin looks good your makeup is going to look good um, no matter what you use so I feel I really wanted to do this for you guys but I definitely wanted to take my time because I have been trying a lot of new products and I wanted to share them with you guys so I have a really good routine now that I'm really happy with and I hope you guys um, enjoy and even find out some new products you've never heard of before and I can introduce that to you but as per usual everything is in the description box below so definitely check that out if you want to check a few of these products out give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'm just gonna jump into it because I think it's gonna be a long video but I think the first thing I'm gonna mention is what's helped my skin out the most I feel and it's a product that I feel will help a lot of people especially with troubled skin and that is the Swiss Clinic little kit that I have here they do loads of individual products on their website but I wanted to try this out because I heard a lot about this roller and um, I think a few companies do this but this is the one that I've heard about the most and so I picked up the kit um, so they come together which is awesome you get the serum and then the roller this is in its little packaging to keep keep it clean but I'm just gonna take it out for you guys and just tell you about it and how I've been using it and what difference it made to my skin personally now this is what it looks like and this little roller thing up here has loads of tiny tiny micro needles and so what it does is when you're rolling onto your skin which i'm going to show you guys how i use it you roll it on your skin i do it for about five to seven minutes and i do it every night for a week and then i will take a week break and then repeat the process so what this does is it creates loads of tiny tiny little holes on your skin and um then when you apply the serum this helps to renew your skin so I do this at night time and then go to sleep and while I'm asleep what it does is it rejuvenates my skin it creates new skin cells so it basically renews your skin which is amazing and what it's known to do is help with a lot of scarring so if you are acne prone or um, you used to have acne and you have scarring on your skin even brown spots or large pores on your skin this really helps with that what i do is i roll it all over my skin as i said five to seven minutes and you get a little red because of course it is rolling tiny 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 micro needles into your skin and this is the kind of thing that you get when you go to get professional facials i'm um, even laser does the same thing and then when you apply serums and all these treatments on your skin it helps repair your skin and this one right here the serum is really lovely it's light it has like a jelly formula to it and this one stimulates collagen production and then increases skin cell survival and optimizes healing process which is incredible and now I understand why it comes in the kit together you this is the smaller version this is the 0.2 millimeter um, needles you can get the larger version and that is more so for more troubled skin so this is why I opted for the smaller one um, again you can get the larger one for more troubled skin um, like acne prone skin and whatnot but on their website um, it says it softens skin stimulates a blood circulation helps um, reduce fine lines or wrinkles scars and improves elasticity and reduces enlarged pores which is what I mentioned and I have noticed that with my pores so it's been about five to six weeks I feel so this has done me so much good I'm really really happy with it and I'll definitely recommend it so that's Swiss clinic um, little kit that I'll be using and I absolutely love it I'm gonna move on to cleansing and this is probably my favorite cleansing product out there and this is a Clinique take the day off cleansing balm they do a liquid oil version of this which I don't like as much as this because this is just so easy to use guys this is probably my sixth tub 
um, it looks like so it's a balm as you can see it's a solid balm and you just scoop out a bunch of product and the way I use it is um, I can use it all on bare face not a problem I'll use it as a cleanser but my favorite way of using it is um, taking my makeup off with it so basically if you've heard of makeup melters this is basically it it's so affordable compared to other ones out there which is why I love it so much and I prefer this more than anything else out there so um as i said i've been using this for a few months i absolutely adore it and what i do is i take scoop some out of the tub i'll rub it in the palms of my hand and then i'll start rubbing into my skin and it basically melts everything off and then i'll take some warm water and then splash my face off with anything that's on my face excess and then i'll go in with a normal cleanser and that's basically me double cleansing because you want to take off as much makeup as possible but when I'm not wearing makeup I will just use this or um, a cleanser and I'm good to go so um, if you've never tried this and you have trouble taking makeup off or you don't like using makeup wipes which I don't I hate using makeup wipes or um, I hate using cotton rounds with product in it and going through like 10 of them it's just too difficult this is so easy um, it gets the job done and it does it really really well so I absolutely adore this and then my current cleanser is this one it's white so you won't be able to see it too well but this is the fresh soy face cleanser this is good for all skin types and I hate the smell but it gets the job done and it's really really good because it's gentle it doesn't burn my eyes it has amino acids in it which is really really good for your skin and again just a good gentle cleanser I feel cleansers and moisturizers are really personal so you just have to go for what works for your skin type and what works for you best so but yeah I've been using this and I love it this bad boy over here is my ride or die this is the alpha H liquid gold with glycolic acid but this is something that I put my entire family on um, a lot of my friends really like this product and it's just a really well-known cult product acids are really good for your skin because they exfoliate it helps with fine lines and wrinkles um, it helps with large pores um, flakiness dryness um, it helps like even out your skin tone they say this is like an overnight facial so they do tell you to use this at night time only because it works well while your skin is resting and not have anything on it um, and you also don't want to go in the sun when you use acids on your skin because it does make it a little more sensitive because it's taking that layer off and allowing your skin to renew. The website, it says that it helps with enlarged pores, uh, pigmentation, scarring and redness, which I think is why it's such an all-rounder. It helps with a lot of things. So I highly, highly recommend this. Um, they do like a trio on Cult Beauty where you get three, um, but you're paying for like two. Uh, so it's such a good um, value for money and it does last a really long time i just take it on a cotton pad and i just wipe it all over my face um and yeah i just really really recommend that product two serums that i use um all the time and i absolutely adore i've been trying out the lancome um advanced jenny feek serum and this is a youth activating concentrate and looks like so it is a little pricey but i've been trying out for a few weeks now and I love it I love the way it feels um, it lasts quite a while because it is a little droppy situation and you don't need that much because it's quite a liquidy serum I've been trying it out and I really have noticed a difference and then the second one is not so much a serum this is the Murad um, complete reform this has been a product I've been using for about a year now and I have noticed such a difference um, it is a pricey product so it's an age reform product of theirs in in their anti-aging range um, but it's basically like a cream I just pump one uh, pump onto my hand and I apply it after a serum and before a moisturizer even after one time of using this I do see a difference in my skin I don't know it just looks brighter it looks firmer um, it helps with fine lines and wrinkles um, it just perfects the skin I feel and it makes such a difference um, so I definitely really recommend this although it is pricey if you're looking for something uh, for your skincare routine that you feel is missing definitely try this out 
gonna jump into moisturizers next and these are the three I'm going through right now I'm not picky with moisturizers again I feel they're really personal because everyone has different skin types so therefore we'll use a different moisturizer but these are the ones I'm going through I don't use the same one every single day I'll mix and match daytime nighttime whatever it may be but just gonna mention them because these are what I'm using this is the origins make a difference plus um, moisturizer I love origins moisturizers they're really really lovely on the skin they have a bunch of different ones I like their Vita Zing one as well it's nice and refreshing and moisturizing so this is one I'm using the second one I have here is the Lancome Hydra Zen this is a really rich moisturizer so it's quite thick and really moisturizing I like to use this at night time a lot then the last one I'm using this is a, a more recent one and this is the fresh black tea firming corset cream I like the way it feels and again it's super moisturizing so I like that this is another cult favorite of mine this is the Dr. Brand pore demabrasion pore perfecting exfoliator um, this has been something that I've talked about for a long long time it's been about over a year I've been using this and it's a pricey product but it lasts such a long time because you use such a small amount this is basically for your pores so I bought this because someone talked about it and it has made a huge difference I could not live without this I use this about every three days so maybe like twice a week you don't want to use it every day because it literally vacuums the crap out of your pores I'm not even joking so um, it is a pricey product but it's so worth it I basically apply a pea size amount on my nose and my chin I don't apply it anywhere else because those are my trouble areas so uh, that's where I want to clean my pores out if you have blackheads or blemishes or just like clogged pores this is perfect for that and then you leave it there for two minutes and then you just wash it off and then I will just go in with my cleanser it says it helps refine the appearance of pores it deep deep cleans your pores and it helps smooth the appearance of skin texture and it does exactly that i cannot recommend it enough i absolutely love it so definitely check it out if you have troubles with pores i'm gonna move on to a scrub so this is the fresh sugar face polish you can use any scrub that um you like this is the one i've been trying recently so it's not been that long but uh, you don't need to use scrub long enough to notice a huge difference because you're just scrubbing your skin so this is a natural exfoliant it has real strawberry seeds inside and it refines and nourishes your skin it's a nourishing scrub so it's not dry um it looks like so it smells really nice. Uh, I really have been enjoying this. I do this about once a week. I don't do it that often. I do it on my face and my neck and then I will go in with my skincare. I don't overdo scrubs because you don't want to irritate your skin, especially that I use acids and whatnot. I don't overdo a sugar scrub, but this is what I've been using for a scrub. I wanted to mention this blemish um drying lotion by Mario Badescu. I'm sure loads of you have heard of this. I've used it for about two, three years now, and it basically looks like so. It's like this pink solution on the bottom and this clear solution on the top. You do not want to shake this. You just want to take it as it is, dip a Q-tip inside, and then apply on your blemish. So I will do this at night time so you don't look crazy. Um, but it's pink, it's cute, um, and you look like a silly goose while wearing it but that's fine you don't want to overdo this because you don't want to over dry your skin you just want to apply it to your blemishes and then it reduces the blemish or completely gets rid of it depending on the size of the blemish but I cannot recommend this enough it's quite affordable for what it is and how long it lasts as well it's about 14 pounds so I think it's really good value for money and it works really really well more than any other blemish um, solution I've ever tried before for toner I've been using this one from Clinique. Again, um, toners are really specific to your skin type, so definitely have a look at what would work best for you. But this is um, a clarifying lotion from Clinique. As I mentioned, I use the one in the pink um, situation. This is quite large, so it lasts such a long time. And I just use this after cleansing and before I do any of my serums or moisturizers. So this is really good. Again, I don't use this every day because it's quite a strong... Um, toner but there are uh ones out there that are quite light on the skin i know pixie do a good toner 
and um, a bunch of other brands so definitely check out what would work best for your skin but this is the one I'd be using for I would say six months yeah. at least masks and masks are something that I live by I probably do a mask either every other day sometimes I do them every day um the reason I do masks so often and I don't think they're bad for your skin at all is because they're masks have become such a big thing lately that there are so many out there for different um things so i love a good brightening mask um it doesn't irritate your skin it's not too harsh the only masks that i would do once a week um if that would be like ones that detoxify your skin I really love the Glam Glow Super Mud for that. Um, so any kind of detoxifying mask, I would definitely not do every day, but any other mask, like a hydrating one or a brightening one, I am good to use before my makeup because I really enjoy it and just makes, like perfects your skin for your makeup. So my current favorite is this Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. And um, as you can see, I love Fresh, but this is a beautiful mask. It smells stunning, it smells like oranges, and it's a natural mask, so, oh, it smells so good. Um, I don't know if you can see my skin really well, but it's quite glowy, it's bright, it makes me feel really nice, and it's great for um, before makeup. So this is definitely my current favorite, but I've been using other ones. I do love the Glam Glow masks. These are the ones I currently have. Again, as I mentioned, the Super Mud, the white one, is beautiful for detoxifying your face and getting rid of crap. <laughs> but I've tried, I think, pretty much all of them, but these are the ones I am currently using. This is the Flash Mud. This is beautiful for brightening. Again, I love the smell of this. It's probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, at the moment. Um, I do like the Thirsty Mud, which is amazing for dry skin. Um, again, it's a hydrating one. It's really lovely. It doesn't dry your skin. It's a wet, like, it's a wet mask, so it stays on your skin and hydrates it, so it's awesome. And then this one is the Gravity Mud, which is more fun. This is a silver mask that people wear all over social media. But my absolute favorite masks are sheet masks because they're so easy. You just sit there, you don't have to wash them off. And my favorite ones that I've discovered recently are their pharmacy um, sheet masks. And they are so lovely. I, f I believe they're all natural. And the reason I really love them is the texture of it. They're not really thin and like flimsy. These are like a jelly uh, mask. I did a little clip so you can see. These really, really remind me of the Lancome uh, Youth Genifique uh, masks. Those are so pricey and you get about six in a pack and they're like 60 odd pounds. So they're really pr pricey, but they are beautiful. I've tried them and I absolutely adore them. They're a really, really thick gel, like a see-through gel, and they're just stunning. It makes my skin feel so nice. They come in like a net the same way that the Lancome ones do, uh, but the gel is not as thick as the Lancome ones but still I really love the texture of them I love the way they make me feel and they have so so many so I'll link them down below for you guys the ones I've tried and have are the this is the firming one um, it has a hydrating coconut in it this actually they're all hydrating coconut so this one is firming this one's the anti anti wrinkle one and then this is the deep moisture one so they're all natural i think they're all like vegetable or fruit based and they're just stunning i really really love them and highly recommend them you get three in a pack and they're about 21 pounds really love them i nearly forgot my oils how can i forget these are my favorite thing to use um these are oils for your face and i cannot recommend oils enough i have a bunch here um sunday riley oils are my favorite um, why did they do this to me? They discontinued my favorite one, which is Artemis, which I raved, raved about for over a year and a half now. I adore this oil so, so much. They've discontinued it, unfortunately. Luckily, I have a backup, but that's fine. Um, but all their other oils are super, super nice. Um, I've tried about three other ones, and I do like them. Just not as much as this one, but it's okay. This one is um, good for detoxifying, but all their other ones are just as good. So I really love this one. And I will use this one at nighttime, mostly. I'm put off now. Sorry, mate. <sighs> My battery is dying, so I have to hurry up, okay? I'm really put off now, just don't look at me. 
Next one I have here is the Fresh Seabury Moisturizing Face Oil. This is pretty new to my routine, but again, I really like it. You don't have to use oils for a long time to see if you like it, especially this one because it's just for moisturizing. It has omega 3, 6, 7, and 9, and it's completely organic, so it's super good for your skin. I would use this mixed with my moisturizer or just on its own at nighttime. Um, but this one I definitely always mix in with my moisturizer. This is the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. I know they have a nighttime one, which you guys have told me to try, but I've yet to purchase that one. But this one is the daytime version of it. So you can use this on its own. Um, you just need a little bit because it's a liquidy oil. Um, and... I like to mix this in with my moisturizer because otherwise I feel it's a little too oily, especially under makeup. But if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I'll definitely slather it on and it's super good for your skin. So if you're missing something from your routine, I'll definitely check out oils. So that is it guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, as I said, everything is in the description box below for you guys. So let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you recommend anything else. Um, but that is about it. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! What?